Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic Hypersonic. I'm Barry P. Cook. I'm here to talk about the latest episode of season three of Doom Patrol. It was called Evil Patrol. And we started with a flashback in which Madame Rouge explains that using art is the only way to change the world. And Rita demonstrates a dance. Now, this takes place back in 1949 before she betrayed the Sisterhood of Dada. And it's, I guess, supposed to explain why they're trying to pull off this grand flagellation or whatever it is, because it's like an art piece in a way to them. I don't know. Back in the present, Rita calls Rogue a liar. Because remember the last, the last episode at the end, they met up sort of in the woods like. So she calls her a liar and tells her she took all Rita ever wanted from her. And she says that all Rouge ever wanted was influence. And Rouge says she will join the Brotherhood of Evil but Rita then says, Niles destroyed or defeated the Brotherhood of Evil already, and it doesn't really exist anymore. And she says that she's basically going to smite Rouge if it's the last thing she does. But Rouge, of course, transforms and takes off. She trans turns into a bird and flies away. Back at the house, Larry is treating the space parasite like a child, and Cliff and Jane seem to tell him he'll screw it up and he shouldn't be doing it but apparently that's just a dream, which makes sense because they wouldn't say that to him. We zip over to where Victor is having a conversation with his dad who explains that he made him cyborg and able to make him, in order to make him immune to racism and discrimination, which Victor doesn't take well. Again, this is an angle of the story I, I never cared about, the whole cyborg thing. It's just extremely lame and I don't know. So this scene didn't mean a, a, a wit to me. Then we go over to where Kay is and she in, in, in the underground and she tells Jane that the others went away because she doesn't need them anymore. And she heads to the surface on the train. But Jane is dubious of the thought that she doesn't need the other you know, personalities anymore. We go back to Rouge. She seems to figure out where the brotherhood is and, and really, there's not much of a brotherhood, right? It's just that brain guy and the, and the big gorilla. And apparently she, where she finds them is like a retirement home. And she goes there to report for duty because she remembers that she switched teams from the Sisterhood of Dada or whatever agency they were part of over to the Brotherhood of Evil. And she almost gets turned away before being let in. Back at the house, Rita explains the Brotherhood to Kay and asks her what her powers are. But of course, she has none before Vic arrives and also disappoints Rita because he no longer has any, any abilities or any powers. So his non-powered self was <laughs> not what Rita wanted to see. Rouge is then seen talking to the two Brotherhood people and she explains her recent history to Brain, but he declines to help her with her Doom Patrol problem until she changes his uh, mind. <laughs> Even then he says that she needs to earn his help. Cliff's daughter shows up at the mansion to tell him that he left his pills at her place, but also that she thinks he needs to see a real doctor because he's hurting himself with the pills and the Parkinson's isn't really getting any better. And so she wants him to see a doctor. Kay tells Victor she's upset about having missed out on life because in her view, her alters were selfish and didn't want to give up surface time in order for her to have surface time. Rita explains to Larry that she's leaving the house to find Rouge and then convinces Cliff to question whether his daughter is really his daughter and not Rouge in the shape of his daughter. So she pulls him aside and she says, look, are you sure that's your daughter? And he's like, yeah, I'm sure. She's like, okay, but I don't know if you should be sure. And lo and behold, it turns out that while she really was his daughter, Rouge was in fact there pretending to be someone and the someone she was pretending to be was his grandchild, which he only figures out when his daughter comes back from the other room, also holding the grandchild that he's holding, at which point Rouge turns back into herself in a very funny moment where for a few minutes, she's got like a baby torso and legs, but adult arms and her adult head, but she's still wearing the baby cap and she's running around and like fighting the the patrol, all of whom then come into the kitchen because <laughs> robot man Cliff yells out, it's a killer baby. <laughs> so there's a pretty funny scene there with that 
She eventually does take her true form again, though, her full adult body, and she tasers Cliff and makes off with him. She kind of teleports off with him. I'm not really sure how that happened, but that's what happens. Kay, at that point, gives control back to Jane, who arrives just in time to see Rouge kidnap Cliff. And then we go over to where Cliff was taken, and he's with Brain, and Brain tells him that his body is infused with magic, and that it's therefore one of a kind, and that he plans to steal it, at which point Rita explains that she and the Brain will then infiltrate the manor and kill everyone, but at that point, Brain takes over Cliff's body and immobilizes Rouge so that he can just live his life. He doesn't want to do whatever it is that she wants to do. He just wants to have a body and go about his life. The patrol realizes that they must have taken him to Florida, and so they grab the bus and they head down there, but they're arguing on the way because, well, a number of things. No one's happy for Vic that he got his regular body back. Also because Rita didn't use her time machine to straighten out any of the other's situations that they found themselves in, you know, I guess back in the past or whatever. And then we see Kay running around in the underground, seemingly looking for someone or something. And she kind of runs into something that was not good. It looked like a bunch of evil eyes staring at her from the darkness. And so she lets out a scream that kind of looks like a, a, the, the canary cry from Black Canary if I had to describe it. And it manages to come all the way out of the surface, all the way out of her actual body that Jane is presently operating. And it, it actually comes out as kind of a shock wave, which upsets the larvae, which I guess when it's upset, it like zaps, it, it zaps its surroundings. And so it gets so upset at hearing this shock wave or feeling this shock wave that it really let out a big charge and it sent the bus flipping over and this was intercut with a scene of, or scenes of Brain dancing around and partying in Cliff's body. And that's where the episode ended. So, you know, I really liked this show in season one and season two. I, I haven't thought much of season three. I really like Michelle Gomez. The baby thing was <laughs> awesome. But I, I, I just, I don't understand what they've been doing this season. You know, the first two seasons were a lot of fun because we saw, we saw a lot of Jane's different personalities doing these crazy things, you know, but they didn't do that this season. It, it was just really Jane and it was kind of boring. And I've said this in the last review, you know, Larry doesn't have negative man, so none of that stuff is happening. It just, I, I haven't thought much of the season. I never thought very much of Cyborg, and they've even, you know, de-cyborged him. So, like, what? I, I just haven't thought much of this season, and I, I didn't think much of this episode. Um, I think the show is completely different without Niles. I think it's completely different without his daughter. I, I, I don't know why they went down this road. Um, Anyway, next week is the finale. I, I can tell you what I'd like to see. I'd like to see, well, the daughter come back. You know, Nas's daughter. I'd like to see Rita maybe redeem herself somehow and maybe become an ally to the Doom Patrol so that we might see her as a re you know recurring character next season, but on the good side. I think Larry should get Negative Man back. And I think the personality should return. And in the finale, maybe we could see a few of them. That would be fun. And then maybe next season, get back to form where we see all that stuff, like in the first two seasons. But first they have to rescue Cliff, who I guess is now just a brain in a jar <laughs> in the possession of the brain, which is kind of funny. So I don't know, I'll be back to review the finale. And that's really all I could say for now, except of course, that I wish you peace and long life.